Lord be with you. In the name of God, and on behalf of the Diocese of Lagos, we welcome our distinguished guests, fathers and mothers of faith, to this service of thanksgiving of the 90th anniversary of her highly referred mother, Dr. Mrs. Grace Simishola Hulubangu Bridwith. We pray that this service will usher us into the presence of God and will be able to do that which we are expected in a sanctuary in the name of Jesus Christ.
Lord, O my soul, all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. I will bless the Lord at all times. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. This is the day which the Lord has made. Together, Almighty God, to whom our hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse it all creation of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and wholly magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. This is the first commandment, and the second is like, namely this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all people, meekly kneeling and saying, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbors in thought and word and deed through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have not sufficiently walked according to the mind of Christ. We have named the name of Christ, but have not departed from iniquity. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, who died for you, forgive us as past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pray and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. We take the next prayer together on page 12. Lord, you have taught us that whatever we do without love is worth nothing. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, the true bond of peace and of all virtues, without which whoever lives is counted dead before you. Grant this for the sake of your holy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who has prepared for them that love thee such good things as pass man's understanding, Pure into our hearts such love towards thee, that we, loving thee above all things, may obtain that promises which exceed all that we can desire through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O eternal Father, the giver of life, who of this day this cause thy daughter, Dr. Mrs. Grace, Simisola Britwith, to be born into this world. We thank thee, O Lord, for all thy mercies, for our save to her from that time unto this present moment. We humbly beseeching thee to continue their gracious favor 
and protection unto her life's end. Assist her, O Lord, in every time of trial. Shield her in danger. Relieve and comfort her in trouble. Succor her in temptation. Defend her from the assaults of our enemies. That our days here may pass away in peace. And at last she may attain unto the everlasting rest. That remaineth for thy people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. We beseech thee, O Lord, open thy heavens from hence. May thy gift descend on her. Put forth thy own hand from heaven and touch her head. May she feel the touch of thy hand. Receive the joy of Holy Spirit, that she may remain blessed forever. Amen. The Old Testament reading is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 28 to 31. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. This is the word of God. The epistle is written in the fourth chapter, the epistle of Paul the Apostle to the church at Philippi, beginning from verse 4 and ending at 9. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be made to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, 
brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is any praise worthy, meditate on these things. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord sent his word and healed them, and they were saved from their destructions. All that men therefore praise the Lord for his goodness, the addition, the wonders that do in the children. Praise the Lord, all ye angels of his people, praise him, all his hosts. Hallelujah. continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, so that it would be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the true vine. You are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. 
if you do not remain in me you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers such branches are picked up thrown into the fire and burned if you remain in me and my words remain in you ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you this is to my father's glory that you bear much fruit showing yourself to be my disciples as the father has loved me so have i loved you now remain in my love if you keep my commands you will remain in my love just as i have kept my father's commands and remain in his love i have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete this is the gospel of christ
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please be seated. We thank God for sparing our lives to join our great grandma in celebrating her 90th uh, birthday anniversary today. We thank God that she, the celebrant herself, is with us, hail and hearty, and we praise his holy name because he is God and he never fails in his promises to us. I want to thank the supervising bishop for the Diocese of uh, Lagos. He is of the Diocese, the Diocesan of Lagos West. And because of what happened to the Diocese of Lagos, he is looking after this diocese until a new bishop is elected. I thank him for coming, but most importantly, for approving that I should stand before you according to protocol and talk to you. If he has said no, then no is no, it will not be possible. We pray that God will continue to bless his episcopacy. And I want to seize this opportunity to greet my brethren, my colleagues, uh, all the bishops who are present today. It's nice to see them after such a long time. This is a wonderful opportunity. And we pray that God will keep us in happiness, in joy, and in peace. I want to thank the family as a whole and as a unit for suggesting that I should stand before you this morning. There must be many reasons, but in my selfish uh, way, I would think that because uh, her soul mate attended CMS grammar school, up boys, and I think that aspect has to do a little bit with it. But we thank God all the same because we are here present. Again, we cannot say anything much without honoring our past parents, grandparents, not only those who have worked in this parish, but all over the country. And the benefits which we have derived from their being with us. Some and very few of the benefits is the belfry the belfry was donated by the British family. It was dormant for a long time. It has been resuscitated now, and the chimes are very lovely to listen to and good sounds to condition our minds, especially during services. We also want to congratulate the British family with res in respect of the Breadfruit House, which is uh, adjacent to us. Uh, Talabi, one of them, worked very, very hard to make sure that that edifice is put there for the future. And uh, we thank God that it is still being used for what it was planned for. We also, indeed, a bit of what he did and how he did it was written by he himself. And it's an appendix in the book that is uh, The Progressives. We also want to remember the Bridgeway family for the endowment to the choir. And we pray that uh, that endowment will be positively used so that we can always worship God in the beauty of holiness. We 
also recognize the fact that when the Breadfruit House got burnt some years ago, the priests didn't have somewhere to stay. And uh, eventually some of the clergy lived with the Breadfruits for a while. And finally, I would like to sentimentally, I would say, recognize the existence of St. Michael's Church at Ekme and to say that the Britwood family, especially the grandfather, did a lot of work in Ekme area. Waking up very early in the morning, taking canoe to cross from Lake K to Ekme. At that time, Ekme was not even uh, properly uh, attended to. And uh, the interesting thing about the story which I read, thanks to the Braithwaite family who contacted the University of Birmingham, and they were able to provide copies of the memoirs written in the diary as to the efforts of all the missionaries who worked in Ekpe. And the last bit I read was the fact that uh, the Oba indicated that unfortunately he would not be able to accept Christianity because they have been instructed not to. And that was supposed to be the end of it. But we thank the Almighty God that he made another way possible. And now we have churches in Ekpe and we have St. Michael's Church as a memorial and a, of, to remember the work which our forefathers have engaged in and which had gladdened our hearts and which has been a good example for us to follow. And we pray that uh, God in his infinite mercy will give us the ability and the humility to bend our knees to God and recognize who he is, at least a little bit of who he is, so that we can always praise him and thank him for his loving kindness. When I was told to stand before you, I thought of what to say, especially to our dear, I don't know, uh, she's sister, but uh, in Lagos they say Sisi. So she looks really, really pretty this morning, well adorned and the rest of it. We thank God for all those who are responsible. But inherently she's naturally beautiful, she's naturally presentable, so she doesn't have to go through all the bits and pieces. But all the same, we thank God. And uh, I thought about it, prayed about it. And as a coincidence, you know, I chose Psalm 103, verses 1 to 5, for us to just uh, do a little bit of... Uh, kind of rehearsal for the final day. And uh, the reason why I chose it is mainly because David is an interesting character to study. He was good in many things, he was bad in many things, at up to one point. And then all of a sudden, in spite of what he had done in the past, he just turned around. If he wanted to go on a, a war, he would consult God first. If God says go, he goes. If God says don't go, he doesn't go. But the intriguing thing, the interesting thing about Moses is that, I mean about, about David, is that in spite of his past, God allowed Solomon, who is a child of David and Bathsheba, to become king in Israel. 
And one would say, is God fair? Or, on the other hand, if one wants to be more positive, what did he do to merit such favor? And I think that is what I want to share with us today. What did he do that changed the whole scenario? And if we carefully look at Psalm 103, verses 1 to 5, we will discover some gems that are hidden underneath. And it will take a careful, a humble person to be able to dig deep and bring out the gems to be able to copy and use as an example for Christian living. If you don't mind, I will just quickly read some part of it and then we just talk about the main thing. That is, what do we learn? Of course, when we look at David very quickly, we will then look at the rich fool. Uh, it's a kind of contrast and it would be nice to place the two of them side by side and then reflect on what Jesus himself said. I am the true vine. If you are in me and I am in you, then ask. But it's conditional. If I am in you, you are in me. If that condition does not exist, then one should forget about having the results that were promised. And so the psalm goes this way. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Who and what are the benefits? He says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, everything. So when you look at the commandments, the Ten Commandments, love God, that is the uh, abridged version, the summary. Love God with all your soul, with all your strength. With all... By the time you do all those things, you just don't have any other thing left other than you know, loving God and praising God. Unlike what we do nowadays, we spend 95% of our time banning Satan, and have little or no time to understand our relationship with God, to know who he is and his worth, and to be able to praise him so that we can be moved to a higher level, so that we can understand God better. There is forgiveness, and luckily we are in Lenten season, and there is no doubt that when we forgive others, as Jesus said, God will surely forgive us. Forgiving us our iniquities. Do we recognize what is right and what is wrong? Do we place our conscience in the right perspective to be able to always uh, remind us when we are going wrong and of course he heals all our diseases I'm told that men are made or created originally before the fall not to have diseases but by virtue of so many things Disease came into the world, and I will not want to go too much into that because the celebrant is a, a well-known doctor, and I wouldn't like to breach any protocol whatsoever. I think when we see later, we might be able to iron one or two things. And then it goes on, apart from healing, he says, he redeems our life from the pit depending on which side of the divide you are, in defining pit. Pit could be the lake of fire. Pit could be difficulties. Pit could be 
a little well where people are dropped in so that they could think of their lives, repent, be penitent, and then to be restored. These are the benefits or some of the benefits available. And then it says the bene one of the benefits is he crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. Crowning us and you with steadfast love and mercy is a thing that is more than diamond and gold. Because to have a crown is to be assured that what he had done in this world is recognized and that the future will be right and such a person will be found acceptable to share in God's eternal kingdom. And so we see the last benefit which I have here which says that God satisfies us with good as long as we live. In other words, as long as our relationship with God is in the right situation and position, He will satisfy us with good all the days of our lives. And then the most important one, or one of the most important ones, is, and he says, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. We may not appreciate and understand properly what that meant. To restore and to renew, even on a daily basis, but as that of an ego. We are told that an ego is not only a big bird which can snatch a little lamb, but the wings are very, very strong. And it can attain heights that are unimaginable except we are patient to know how he attains it. The ego ordinarily is not too strong. But when he wants to attain greater heights, he stands and waits and waits and waits upon the right wind comes. And when the right wind comes, God or whatever it is teaches it to spread his wings at a particular angle and the power in the wind will carry it as high as he will want to. The important thing to note there is total surrender. You have to surrender totally in order that God will be able to help. And where does that surrender come in? with regard to the ego. It comes in mainly because at a particular time, the ego will lose all its feathers completely and he will be bare, bare completely. No hair whatsoever. No strength. And therefore, not able to do anything worth the while. But after the old feathers have been dropped, new feathers spring out. And they sprout and they become tougher than the earlier feathers. And the renewal of his mind and body together enables him to perform what we look at and see as miracles which teaches us that, yes, we like the ego, but we must learn how submissive, how humble the ego is waiting for the strength of the Lord. 
not us who are rather greedy and that takes us to the opposite of what we have been talking with regard to David because David was humble he admitted his faults he took certain actions to restore he was forgiven he was restored and he moved forward so as far as God is concerned he has forgiven him and because he has felt very bad about it and changed he decided to restore him which means that to every human being there is an opportunity for restoration and that is the opportunity we need to uh, grab as quickly as we can when we look at the opposite side as contained in Luke chapter 12 we will find the rich fool he planted luckily there was good harvest he was so overjoyed that he said to himself my soul we are back in business let us enjoy let us have the best because the proceeds have come in and I don't even have enough space to put them he did not put God first. Indeed, he didn't consider God at all. And the result, of course, is what we have seen. God said, tonight your soul will be taken away from you. And then we look at how we can be stable. To repent, to change, to follow God through Christ how should we go about it Jesus in the gospel reading said if you are in me and I am in you ask and you will receive but we know that most of us will just say Jesus says ask and you shall receive therefore I will ask the conditionality is out which is unfortunate because if the conditionalities are not there then you ain't got to have it at all so we learn that it is important to always cross check our behavior every day by reading the Bible by having devotion meditation and prayer fully go about doing God's work and then we look at the cross the board effect which these examples present to us and of course they present to us the character which God wants us to have through Christ Jesus that character is very very important and that is what we see in our celebrant this morning 90 years of living on this earth and the parents very lovely parents the mother a dressmaker or seamstress depending on whichever one wants to do or maybe fashion designer if one wants to be in the mood you know and the dad many things among the one I'm interested in is the fact that he was uh, a headmaster and he wore, he worked at Igbe St. John's Church Igbe Abeokuta and I was a little kid 1949 uh, in, at Ibe and I just tried to picture what it was like being in Ibe they, they didn't have up to standard 6 so we had to do our standard 6 at Ibe but all the same there was uh, the football team and I happened to be center forward so we played a match 
against Igbori. And a voice just said, if you miss the ball, don't miss the leg. And I ended up in the hospital 30 days because I broke my arm. And since then, I was cautious as to what part to play in a football match. But then, it's not because uh, the father is from Bagura, mother is from Igbori. And uh, on the mother's side, the grand, her grandfather was uh, so much religious that he gathered his friends and they established a church at uh, Oba Eri. I hope my pronunciation is correct. And that Oba Eri is 10 miles from Abiyokuta. And they will trek every Sunday to worship there. And he established a convincing and practically viable establishment in terms of what the missionaries usually do. And they have the stint, or they had the stint in Abeokuta, and I think Papa thought they've had enough. The sawmill business in Lagos is very good, so he might as well come to Lagos. And of course, he moved to Lagos in the sawmill business, and things were doing well, except that uh, there was a citadel at uh, Prison Street. We call it citadel because uh, there is no way you can break in, except through the right way. And most of the time, I'm not sure if we were, we were on the right way or not. But we thank God that the, some of the products of, not escapades, but inability to approach and access the citadel were materialized in 19, I think, 54, when she went to UK, and two years after, they were married. It was very fast, and we thank God that for over 65 years, they were together, and that is God for you, and that is her faith in God, and how deep that faith is. And she was able to withstand all the difficulties because she was pregnant about to give birth it was her last year at the medical school and in spite of that she managed to bear it in fact maybe the professor supervisor thought this is too much for her to take but she managed bore it and went through it at that time, they had two children, and the husband would come to go to Ibadan from Lagos every weekend, which is another sacrifice, risk. But then, the risk <laughs> can be said to be interpreted in various ways. I'm not being mischievous, but I have a feeling that when she graduated, she worked with Massey Street for years, and then eventually she went private on her own. And she decided to call that hospital or clinic or whatever it is, Bula. And I thought about it and I said, why should it be Bula? And, and normally I should ask her, but I thought my own conjecture may be right, may be wrong, but taking the grammarian, it will be a mix of right and wrong. So I said, let me present right and wrong. And so, Buddha reminds me of the relationship of Israel with God. And Buddha, in its uh, form, could be said, to be in the positively affirmative sense. When you have a bride, like it's described in the New Testament, waiting to be, you know, by her bridegroom. And God said, 
you are bipolar because I desire my desire is in you so I hope I'm right I hope uh, all is well but then I extended my imagination who is a bride waiting for bridegroom where is the bridegroom her eventual husband and so when I now read about she married her childhood friend and soulmate I then saw that I was venturing into some deep for which I have no protection and I said to myself when eventually we meet the first question I will ask from your heart of heart which of the bullas do you belong to may God bless them in Jesus name so we see how they lived their lives in line with after David. After David meaning David was bad, after David was good. And I pray that today we will seize the opportunity individually. She already is in it because she was uh, made a licensed lay reader 19, about 1969. And uh, some of the children are all already lay readers, which is a good sign. And there are lots of other compliments. But the most important thing is to inquire from God what at 90 is left for God to help you with. Which way is he going to direct you? The Holy Spirit is there. You already have it, both latent and kinetic. And God will enable you in all humility, in deep faith, to know the, what to do for the next few years. We recognize the work you did with the Nigerian women or Nigeria. Uh, women in doctor, you know, in medicine. I'm sorry, that one has uh, become difficult for me. Nigerian women. Well, we thank God. I missed out on that, but she did so well because she made her practice part of her practice available for cancer, these people who identify cancer, they do not treat it properly as such because things were difficult then, but they tried to assuage the pain and the future thoughts of having cancer. The same thing with sickle cell. So she spent quite some time helping and improving all aspects of her encounter with righteousness so that like Paul at the end she may be able to wear the crown of righteousness which is waiting for her and we pray that this crown of righteousness will be available to all those who follow the dictates of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and all those whom he has sent to represent him as the apostles and all those who feature likewise. And so I would like to say that apart from Epa, Epa Ziva, who is representing the body of those who love God we need to appreciate the hospital which he worked especially Mercy Street Hospital because a lot of children have passed through 
Massey Street Hospital and they are proud leaders in our society today. And so today we celebrate our celebrant, but most importantly, we want to celebrate ourselves in the sense that the service is a communion service. And to my understanding, communion stand a service is where a Christian meets Christ, meets Christ, and receives from Christ the body and blood in faith. Meaning that as you go there this morning or afternoon, have an encounter with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. However deep the encounter might be, don't worry. You will never miss road. You will always be on target. And when you do that, then what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ indicated in his gospel as interpreted by Paul will become clear to us. Because Paul, in the epistle reading today, says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these. Think about these things, what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And the God of peace will be with you now and forevermore. And now to the only wise God be honor, glory, majesty, and power now and forevermore. We will sing the hymn on page 19, item 19. A bale ni gwa gwa ye, boti u kota po.
the opening sentences bled the lord oh my soul fi bokun fun oluwa iwo kan mi there is no doubt that the lord has been so good to our mama from day one to 90 years e ba nkan ni mo dupe pe mo ri anugba mo dupe pe mo ri anugba tori ki se gogo eniyan lo ri anugba mo dupe pe mo ri anugba mo dupe pe mo ri anugba tori ki se gogo eniyan lo ri anugba oluwa mo dupe pe mo ri anugba the lord has been so good to mama so let's join our hearts together and say lord thank you for the life of mama just tell the Lord, Lord, thank you for sparing our life, for counting our worthy to be a man the living at 90. Lord, thank you, Lord. You are good. You are kind. You are wonderful. You are excellent. Receive all praises. Receive all thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray. Ayo bani aki imane kori omaji. No one that is perfect. Just as Lord, every sin mama must have committed in your mercy, in this period of mercy, Lord, forgive her. Let's pray to God. Use your blood, O Lord. To wash away our sin. Set her free from every bondage of sin. In Jesus' name we pray. One year no lesson who says se be baba. It is lesson who says se be agba. There's no way mama can succeed without the help of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray, Lord, afresh release your anointing upon mama. Her name is Grace. She need a grace. Lord, endow her with fresh grace, fresh anointing, fresh strength. Agbara otu, oku otu, olu afifu mama. Olu afifu mama. Let's talk to God. Say, Lord, the remaining years mama will live, she will not be sorrowful. She will not weep over her children, grandchildren, great grandchildren. Talk to God, say, Lord, bless Mama with sand heads. Bless her with earth, robust earth. Strengthen Mama physically and spiritually that all the days of her lives she will live to continue to testify to the goodness of the Lord.
agbadura esu meji o ba yo won je o o ngbogo ti se ti won o lo lasi pe lord in your mercy please kneel down and let us pray let us pray for the whole church of god in christ jesus and for all men according to their needs almighty god our heavenly father you promised through your son jesus christ to hear us when we pray in faith strengthen erin dubukuba our primate james olusola our supervising bishop and all your church in the service of christ that those who confess your name may be united in your truth live together in your love and refill your glory in the world lord in your mercy bless and guide our rulers give wisdom to all in authority and direct this and every nation in ways of justice and of peace that all men may honor one another and seek the common good lord in your mercy give grace to us our families and friends and to all our neighbors that we may serve christ in one another and love as he loves us lord in your mercy comfort and heal those who suffer in body mind or spirit give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation lord in your mercy hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of christ according to your promises grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom lord in your mercy before we conclude i want you to pray for yourself lord grant me also long life and sound health bi mo se nba mama yo luni je ki aye o bebe na yo emi gigun ati alafia oluwa fi femi na lori lede nigeria ma je won fe je mi se tutu je ka bo re ko daji lori mi rejoice in the fellowship of all your saints we commend ourselves and all christian people to your unfailing love merciful father accept these prayers for the sake of your son our savior jesus christ uh, shall we rise up on our feet christ is our peace he has reconciled us to god in one body by the cross we meet in his name and share his peace the peace of the lord be always with you let us offer one another a sign of peace Amen. The offertory sentence. Oh, be joyful in God, all ye lands. Sing praises unto the honor of his name. Oh, come either and hearken, all ye that fear God. And I will tell you what the Lord had done for my soul. Hallelujah. The offertory hymn.
22. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. We the earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed for us forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of divine and work of human hands, it will become for us a spiritual drink. Together, yours, Lord, is the greatness the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right. It is our duty and joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, the Holy Son, our Lord, for he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him... You have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born as man and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him, you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. And now we give you thanks for the preservation of our sister, Grace Sibisola, who turns 90 years old today, and that your grace will be given to her to fulfill the number of her days on earth. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God, Father, and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel as we continue in prayer. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And that we follow his example and obey his command. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine May be to us his body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave his disciples saying, It is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. And he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Drink this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me.
Therefore, we proclaim the misery of faith. Christ has died. Christ Christ will come again. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his suffering of himself made once upon, for all upon the cross, and we proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. And as we look for his coming in glory, we celebrate with this bread and this cup his one perfect sacrifice. I send through him our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit. Inspire us with your love. And unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and in heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. We break this bread, share Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Together, the prayer of humble access. We do not presume to come to your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of Judean Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Set your mind on God's kingdom and his justice before everything else, and the rest will come to you as well. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ which he gave you, and his blood will be shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Come, for all things are ready.
I'd like to appeal to us that it's only communicants that are eligible to the elements. Those who have received the laying on of hands by Anglican bishops or Methodist bishops, by extension African church bishops, are given the opportunity to approach the altar to partake of the Holy Communion. If you have not done so, kindly remain seated where you are and sing along with the choir. May God bless you and grant all the desires of your hearts in the name of Jesus Christ.
want to invite Mrs. Dupe Kachi to come and present her solo. Mrs. Dupe Kachi for the presentation of her solo.
louder, please, louder. Oh, super. Thank you, Ma. We are grateful. We will all rise to take the post communion hymn. As we sing that hymn, we are going to collect Seed of Faith. Seed of Faith is for evangelism, mission, and discipleship. We use the process of this seed of faith to plant new churches where there is no presence of Anglican church. And we use the same process to assist the needy parishes. And we go as far as the north to assist the needy dioceses and to continue to fulfill the Great Commission. Kindly do it generously as unto the Lord. And the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. The next hymn
Heavenly Father, King of Glory, we pray that we accept the seed of faith brought to you by all of us who are in love with your work in our world. We pray that we bless this offering and use it for the extension of your kingdom in these diocese through Jesus Christ our Lord. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We beseech thee, O Lord, let your divine power work mightily within your servants so that this life giving sacrament may render us ever the more ready for fresh grace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Watch over your daughter, Grace Sibisola, O Lord. As her days increase, bless and guide her when discouraged, worried or sorrowful. Uphold her that she may not fall. And in her heart, may your peace, which passes all understanding, abide all the days of her life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As our Savior told us, so, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The prayer of thanksgiving and rededication together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and walk to your praise and glory. Amen. Please let us celebrate Christ with a round of applause, especially for the purpose of our gathering this afternoon. Hallelujah. This time for Thanksgiving proper, I'm going to invite the birthday girl, Mama Grace Simisola Oluban Wo Braithwaite, and other members of the entire Braithwaite dynasty and our own family, the Falade family. She will dance to the altar for thanksgiving. When they are done, members of the church will now come out in rows as we be guided by the Gideon's to drop their offerings. 
Now they celebrate and our family. And while they are doing this, the diocesan choir of the diocese of Ijebu North will feature now the diocesan choir of the diocese of Ijebu North will feature now singing Oye Kadupe.
Nisus in Lafe or Duque Low or Lorum. Fuma Bull or Lorum Lori, Mamma. I see a way be. So bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth thee of thy sin and healeth thee of all thy infirmities. Who saveth thy life from the destruction and crowneth thee with mercy and with loving kindness. Indeed, Heavenly Father, we bless and glorify your holy name. As a mother and sister in Christ celebrates 90 years in the land of the living. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for her creation and we thank you for the preservation of our life. Thank you for the abundance of your grace and for your mercy this 90 years. Thank you, Lord, for the family into which she was born. Thank you, Lord, for her upbringing. Thank you, Lord, for her education. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for when it was time, you caused her to be married. And Heavenly Father, the marriage is fruitful. We thank you for the children. We thank you for the grandchildren and we thank you for every member of this family here in your presence as we rejoice with mama we thank you most especially that in health and in strength she celebrates this 90th birthday that she has come before your throne herself to say thank you we pray heavenly father that the thanks and praise that she offers before you will be acceptable in your sight in jesus name and Lord, we pray because she has not come empty-handed. She has brought before you a token of her love and gratitude. These two, Lord, will be acceptable in your sight. And on this occasion, we commit her, Lord, into your hands. It will be well with her in the name of Jesus. All those things for which she is thankful to you, Lord, we pray that Satan will not take any away from her. We thank you most especially because in the choice of her career, you made it that she contributed immensely to humanity. We thank you, Lord, because even throughout that period, Lord, you were with her. We thank you also for her relationship with her husband. And we thank you that even in these years apart, you have not left her alone. Thank you, Lord, for the children that you have blessed her with. Thank you because in their homes, Lord, you are watching over them. And we know that even as we gather before your throne, Lord, you know every secret of every heart. And for the reason of this birthday today, you will meet them all at every point of their needs according to your glorious riches in Christ Jesus. For friends and well-wishers, Lord, who have come to join with her today, we say thank you. And we say, Heavenly Father, Lord, as our days increase, so she will increase in wisdom. She will increase in understanding. We are praying, Lord, that her health will not fail her. We are praying, Heavenly Father, that everything that she still desires from you, according to your will, you will grant unto her. So on this day, we join with the psalmists in Psalm 121, who says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh even from the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. Mama, he will not suffer your foot to be moved, and he that keepeth thee will not sleep. Behold, he that keepeth Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself is your keeper. The Lord is your defense upon your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, neither burn moon by night. The Lord will preserve you from all evil. Yea, it is even he that shall keep your soul. May the Lord preserve your going out and your coming forth from this time forth and forevermore. It is well with you, Mama. The Lord will strengthen you. He will keep you. He will make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. He will lift up the light of his countenance upon you. And in your heart, in your home, upon all your children and members of your family, may the Lord grant his peace this day and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>
Praise the Lord. It's time for all of us to identify with Mama in Thanksgiving, and I want us to dance very well to the glory of God's name for all that God has done for her. So we will come out as we are going to be led by the guild of stewards. We just drop our offerings and return to our seat. You don't have to shake our hands. We defer that until when we are done with this service. And God will bless you all in Jesus' name.
be with you. Let us pray. God our Father, we thank you very, very sincerely for this great opportunity that we are given to celebrate your faithfulness, your goodness, your kindness, your grace, and your mercy in the life of our mama, Dr. Mrs. Grace Simisola Olubanwo Braithwaite, who celebrates our 90th birthday today. Father, we cast log your blessings in our life. We thank you for our conception, for our birth, for our growth, for our education, for our marriage, for the gifts of children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, for all other people that she has in our life. And we are saying, God, be glorified in the name of Jesus. So many people from far and near have come to rejoice with us today. We pray that the joy of today shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. As many as have come to identify with us, God, please, you will continue to identify with them in the name of Jesus. All of you will fulfill your destinies. None of you will die before your time. The good work that God has started in you, he will perfect in the name of Jesus. The good things that you desire for yourselves and all those who are connected to you, heavens will release them unto you in the name of Jesus. Whatever may be the plans and antics and devices of the devil, for all of you and other members of your family, by the reason of God's anointing in this place, we truncate them. You will not be a victim. Your blood will not be shed in the name of Jesus. You and other members of your family will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. By the time you leave this Saturday of worship and returning to your home, the grace of God will be sufficient for you. The presence of God will abound in your life. It is well with you. Thank you, Father. Accept the offerings of your people. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We want to sing part this song for our matriarch, the matriarch of the Braithwaite family. She will sit here. All of us will rise and then take the body song.
God continue to expand your course in Jesus' name. I also want to appreciate our Father who delivers God, God's message to us. His Lordship, the Right Reverend, George Bako, and Mama Adejumoke Bako. Daddy, we are grateful. We pray for longer years for you in sound and robust health in the name of Jesus. We also have with us today his Lordship all the way from Ijebu Igbo, the Right Reverend Dr. Solomon Betogo Kukono and Mama Kukono. We are immensely grateful to you, sir, for being here. Uh, Mama Ijebu North, we are grateful. The Lord will take you back home safely in the name of Jesus. We also have with us our father from Abe Okuta, where Mama was born. His Excellency Muhammadu Buhari, who is ably represented by Senator Dr. Adeleke Olorunbe Mamura, the Minister of Science, Technology, and Innovation of our nation. We celebrate you, sir. Thank God for joining mercies. We appreciate the President of our country. You arrived before the start of the service and you have been patient the lord will perfect the good work he has begun in you in the name of jesus christ we are immensely grateful to you and the president we also have with us today representing the governor of lagos state Moyo Sore Onigbanjo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, the Attorney General of Lagos State. We are very grateful, sir. Very, very grateful. Please convey a profound gratitude to the governor of this state and congratulate him on his return for the second time in office. He will be successful in the name of Jesus Christ. We have a father with us. Representing Obatioli, the upper of Lagos. Please treat Baba for us that we pray with him every day that peace will continue to reign in this city in the name of Jesus. We also have with us Dr. Ibiron Kesubendo, the President Medical Women Association of Nigeria. Other past presidents, 
and Mama Dr. Mrs. Grace Misola Braithwaite is one of the past presidents of that association. The Lord will continue to take care of you and all others who belong to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oba Ajibola Oluyede Delaide of Aide Obese Kabiesi I doff my cap. We welcome you. We are grateful to you. Kade Kwelori Kibata Kwelese Kia Mwesi Obakon Joko Kwe 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 in the name of Jesus. I'd like to recognize Medical Women Association of Nigeria, Old Students Methodist Girls High School, members of Lady Walkers League, the Elders Fellowship of our diocese. We have their director in attendance, Chief Mrs. Mudupe Fashina. We sincerely celebrate you and your doggedness uh, in looking after our elders in the diocese. You will live long in the name of Jesus. We also have in attendance members of Church Medical Society of our own church here. All of us, we are grateful to all of you for coming. I want to acknowledge the good performance of the choir of St. Paul Church Breadfruit and to appreciate them and the hognish and others who assist him and also the great choir from the Diocese of Ijebu North. We are grateful all the way from Ijebu Ibo. The Lord will continue to celebrate you all in the name of Jesus Christ. We have other members of Reverend Braithwaite Memorial Church in our midst. If you're one of them, can you say hallelujah? Thanks for coming. God bless you all. Before we round off the service, just for one or two minutes each, I would like to invite Old Girls Association of Methodists girls school please can you quickly come and make your presentation please time is no longer our friend let us be snappy as much as possible
Methodist Girls High School, Yaba, the oldest girls secondary school in Nigeria, and the third oldest secondary school in Nigeria, founded in 1879, is very proud to associate with our mommy, and we wish her a very happy birthday. We're going to sing the school song. Because of time, we'll only sing the first verse. Our eyes have seen the vision, our hands in different ways shall build a feast together, a school for future days. Sing out, sing out, long may she stand a place of Happy birthday, Ma. I should mention that mommy's set is here. Um, of course, because of age, we have a combined set. All those who finished between eight, 1949 and 1955 have a set. Mommy finished in 1953. Praise the Lord. The Minister of Science, Technology, and Innovation, representing the presidents of this great nation, Alaji Muhammadu Buari, has a message for us, and he has to leave immediately for other assignments. My pleasure, therefore, inviting Senator Dr. Adeleke Olorun Mimbe. Mamura to come and deliver the message of our president. Thank you very much. I pay respect to our fathers in the Lord here present, and I greet the entire church. Good afternoon. Thank you for inviting me because I would have failed in my duty if I did not deliver President's message, goodwill message. Mama, I thank God for you because you have lived your name, Grace. You have aged gracefully and you are looking graceful at 90. My prayer is that uh, the good Lord will ensure that your strength equals your age. So, Mr. President's message says, is through the son, Olumide, that as your mother attains this blessed age of 90 years, I join your family, friends, and many admirers all across the globe in celebrating this special day in her life. Your mother's life has truly been one that is lived in strong faith, devotion to humanity, and service to your community. I pray the Almighty keeps her in good health to enable our society 
to continue to benefit from her vast experience. Congratulations and happy birthday to Mama. Signed, Mohamedou Buhari, President, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Can we give him another round of applause to appreciate him and also to appreciate our president. Thank you very much, sir. We wish you Johnny Mercy's back to Abuja after this service. May I, with the kind permission of my fathers, our Lord's bishops, invite members of the Elders Fellowship of the Diocese of Lagos for their presentation. Praise the Lord. My Lord, sir, all clergy present and the vicar of the church, Venerable Yejiro, we congratulate one of us very active in the fellowship, Mama, Mommy, Mrs. Grace Braithwaite. We thank God for our life. Mama, we are privileged to know you. We appreciate you, Ma. We are privileged to know you. Beautiful mommy, our darling, on behalf of Lagos Anglican Elders Fellowship, by the permission of our supervising bishop, the Right Reverend Olushola Odedeji, we present this pillow to you for comfort. Put it under your head when you are sleeping. And in appreciation, Ma, of your contribution to our fellowship. May the Lord continue to bless you, Ma. Amen. Praise the Lord.
Thank you very much. Congratulations. 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 Let us celebrate all our headers in the Diocese of Lagos. Finally, the Medical Society of St. Paul of Breadfruit would like to sing a verse of their hymn in honor of Mama Doctor Grace Simisola Olubanwo Breadwith. The medical society of our church here. I hope you are ready. Okay? Just a verse. We want to sing for our mama, our great physician at 90. Our great physician at 90 is Mama Grace. Simisola Braithwaite. Yeah. The great physician now is never seen but dies in Jesus. He speaks the truth in her to cheer who oh, hear the voice of Jesus, sweet as nailed in seraph song, sweet as name on mortal tongue, sweet as carol ever song, Jesus bless the Jesus. Amen. Thanks for obeying me. I'm grateful. Please, we are going to turn to page 35 of the service program and then take Vespa, page 35.
the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Just to inform us that reception will take place at Yard 158, Kudirat Abiola Way, Oregon, Lagos. <laughs> 